Hi, my name is Liza. I'm a professional children's book illustrator, mother of a two-year-old, and welcome to the book note. Today I've got four books that talk about being afraid of the dark. First up we have Lights Out by Arthur Geysard. It's about a clever little pig who engineers a way to turn out his bedroom light without leaving bed. This book is definitely about being afraid of the dark to some degree, but there is no tension and it's just a happy, fun book that is mostly about the chain reaction he sets off by pulling this little cord. Things happen all over the side of the house, in the attic, in the yard, in the basement, all coming back round to turn out the light by his bedside table. Lights Out, being a nearly wordless picture book, has the advantage that as a parent, you can read it really slow, pointing out everything in the illustrations, which is great for building imagination and vocabulary, or you can read it really quickly on those nights when you just wanna to get to go to bed yourself. Whether your child is playing with mechanical toys already, or still just loving playing with blocks, this book is great for the little engineers in your life. Next up is Lemony Snicket and John Classen's The Dark. This is about a little boy who's afraid of the dark, and he's very worried in the beginning of the book about where the dark is. It's behind curtains, it's in the bathroom, it's all over the house. And one day, the dark starts speaking back. It asks him to come down into the basement, and he ends up meeting the dark, confronting his fear, slightly personified, I won't ruin how, but the dark is very kind. And he resolves his fear in the end by getting to have that moment of confrontation with the dark. The illustrations here are really just as striking as the text. One of the best parts about this is it builds a real sense of tension. This might not make it a great read for a younger toddler or someone who's really terrified of the dark, but it's perfect for that kid who is curious and is old enough to understand that there can be real resolution with a problem. One of the other great things about this book is it truly resolves the problem in the book the way your child will feel in real life. While I love some of the other books I'm going to talk about, this is the most true to life for how a toddler gets over their fear of the dark. Aside from the whole talking directly to the dark part, that probably won't happen. <laughs> this book is The Knight Who Was Afraid of the Dark by Barbara Shook Hazen and Tony Ross. In it, Sir Fred keeps the kingdom very safe and it's very brave, except when it comes to being afraid of the dark. It turns out that Sir Fred does the bravest thing he's ever done and admits that he is afraid of the dark and wins the affection of Lady Wendelin and finds out that the dark isn't so scary if you have someone to share it with. This one, not surprisingly, uses a lot of humor to attack something that sometimes kids don't want to admit, that they are afraid of the dark. This one's great for a child that isn't quite ready to admit that is a fear. And Sir Fred does not come off looking foolish for having admitted he is afraid. Since having Lady Wendelin by his side makes the dark less frightening. A clever hack for parents might be designating a special toy or stuffed animal to go with your child to bed to make the night a little less frightening. Last, and not least, because this one is my favorite, is Orion and the Dark by Emma Yearlet. In this book, Orion is afraid of the dark. And one night, the dark comes to life and says, Hello! <laughs> he gets to go on lots of fun adventures with the dark, and together they one by one conquer his fears of things that may be in the dark or sound scary, feel like they would get him in the dark. By the end, they are good friends, best friends, he says, and he wishes the dark would never go. I'll never be far, says the dark. And then, of course, in the end, we get a great shot of them together as Orion is sleeping and the dark is reading him a bedtime story. This book has so many bright, happy colors and depicts the dark in such a cheerful, friendly way 
This is a great one for your smaller toddlers. Not just the artwork, but the overall humor embedded in the book makes this really fun to read and not scary at all. Well, that's it. Those are the four books I picked to talk to you today uh, that are about being afraid of the dark. I hope this helps you and your families and your toddlers have an easier bedtime. I will put more in the description below and uh, make sure to link them all up so you can find them on your own. Don't be shy though to request them from your local library. A couple of these they did not have on premises and so they got them for me, which was really great. I know my daughter Evie, who's two, has just started to recognize that the dark is a real thing and something she's not comfortable with. And we've been leaving things so she can turn the light on if she uh, is tall enough in that room and trying to teach her about this, but it's funny how overnight they just decide being afraid of the dark is a thing and no one had ever discussed it with her before. This wasn't something she learned from another toddler, but it's good to know there's a lot of fun books we can read to try to help address the issue. Well, I'd love it if in the comments you guys would let me know not just your favorite books talking about the dark and getting over a fear of the dark, but let me know what I should do in my next one. I'm really curious what everybody would like, and uh, if anyone's watching, thank you so much. Bye.